All right, so this is a video about testing your igniter. <clears throat> I've created myself a rig, and my rig is made up of signal generator. This is uh, currently set to 17 hertz with a 50% duty cycle. This is to emulate what the ECU will be sending to the igniter. So the signal out from here is the yellow wire, goes into pin number four on the igniter. Then we have the igniter itself, the rest of the connections. Uh, pin number three, this is uh, ignition. So this is, uh, I'm using the uh, positive terminal on the coil as a sort of a junction point for all of the uh, battery connections that I'm using right now. So that's where it's getting its positive power from. And then pin number two, which is how the igniter uh, completes the circuit to the coil. So the wire that's currently not connected to the coil because uh, we're doing this as a, a non-coil test. We just want to see the signals here. Got it disconnected and uh, that's what I've got hooked up to an oscilloscope and this oscilloscope is reading let's see if we can get focus it's almost in focus the oscilloscope is let's try one more okay the oscilloscope is reading 16 Hertz and 12 volts and a 50% duty cycle so all is good with this igniter this is uh, under the conditions that we're, we're currently giving it. Now there's next to no load, so who knows what would happen if we actually had the coil connected. I may do that in a uh, future test. But this is essentially uh, the expected output. Everything is currently making sense. And this igniter is, uh, as far as we know, is a known working one. And this is what it looks like when we connect up the, uh, the HT lead and a spark plug to this uh, science experiment. And we send it a signal. So the test signal that we got on the oscilloscope uh, corresponds to that spark when we, we actually hook up the coil. So that's a, that's a great result. This ignition control module is working.